What's up guys, this is Jeremy here with the Arkansas CW. I'm here with the stars of the new CW show, Roswell, New Mexico. So I gotta ask you guys, did you watch the original Roswell series and can you tell me how it compares to this one? I have not watched it. Mm -hmm. Um, I, my sister, my old sister was a huge fan and um, I watched it now, I binged it right before we started production on, on the pilot, and, but it's a new thing, you know? Yeah, I mean this is, I was told when I first got the gig, I asked if I should watch the show and read the books and I was told no. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this is not a prequel, it's not a sequel, this is in fact a reimagining of the book series. The books. Yeah. And uh, these are not the same characters from the original series, they have the same first names. Mm -hmm. um, but beyond that, yeah. we're adults, uh, we're dealing with adult problems in the mm -hmm. modern day and age, and, and it, which, this is a whole new take. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like, you know, uh, they're the similar character, there, there are, sorry, they are the same characters in the sense that we have Liz and Max and Isabel and Michael, the people you know, you know and love, and the circumstances are definitely off the top similar, but our show takes off in a way that I think honors um, New Mexico, honors that you know, Liz Orteco is a Mexican-American woman in 2018, and, um, and honors that they're all adults and they're dealing with this expansion of their possibility and their reality with this huge revelation. It's so fun how profound the choices they make become because it's not just themselves and their you know teenage life it's themselves and their family and their circle and their community and and yeah there's a lot of weight to everything it's so fun in the show liz is the daughter of undocumented immigrants so why is it important to tell that story and bring that issue to the show yeah i mean our show's a show about feeling other and alienation and um max feels that as liz does as Arturo does, who plays my father, uh, who's my father on the show, uh, played by a wonderful actor named Carlos. Um, but what's exciting about it is that we're just, we're honoring the city, we're honor honoring the state we live in, this is a border state, and it's 2018, and um, these are good people. This is a, a Mexican-American family that is a blended family, and that is trying to just exist in their in their community to, to do right by their employees at the diner and to do right by their family and um, he's he's so wonderful Carlos he's so lovable and I think people will have their hearts opened by just seeing him representation matters by just seeing him there it'll expand their possibility and this is just a family man and that he's undocumented are the unfortunate circumstances that he's trying to supersede you know at its core, this story is a love story. So can you tell me a little bit more about Liz and Max's relationship? One of the, the great things about being able to tell this story as adults is that in life there are so many things and responsibilities mm -hmm. that drive you apart from the people you love. Um, I've carried a torch for Liz my entire life, mm -hmm. 20 years, you know, 28, yeah. however long I've been around on this planet, on this planet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, I, you know, I've carried a torch for this woman. and. And obviously life kind of drove us in different directions. It's a horrible tragedy, it drove Liz away. And, and now she's finally back and it's a chance to, to try and make up ground, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I don't think there's any point in the world where you, you put that torch down. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, the challenge is just trying to, to crawl through the mess. Yeah, to find each other. It's gonna be a journey, but um, yeah, they're so, they're so, they're heroic, heroic characters, Liz and Max, and they're such good, people and they're so in service of things beyond themselves and he's so in service of his family of taking care of this massive secret and she is so, she's so lit on fire she's such an activist she wants to save the world you know and um and and they have to find a way to 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 be selfish for a second and find each other and and it's gonna she's so in her head i like to say like she's got science brain on she's like biomedical engineering and he's asking her to drop in her heart and um, that's going to be a journey, but I really do hope they make it there. We're like so ready for them to make it there. So the show has many twists and turns in it. So what do you guys think will happen when those secrets are revealed? Uh, I mean, that's what the interesting thing about our show is. Liz and Max are better people than the normal person, but definitely than Nathan and Janine. <laughs> they are heroic characters, and they have such an ability to stay good to each other um, through the most horrific and obscene and, and challenging events. Um, so, yeah, she's such a curious person. She is a scientist, and but she sees him. Mm -hmm. She doesn't, you know. Um, she sees, how do I take care of him? How do I take care of my family? How do I, um, it's, it's, a, it's such a fun thing to track for us. We've, we're, we're trying to find how they, they stay good to each other always. 
They're so mm-hmm. they're so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it'll be it'll Maybe. be a nice contrast to what we mm-hmm. see from the whole government conspiracy side of it. Right, you exactly. Know? So because that's it, a very big part too. It's a very big part of it, and it's a very. I think we're sort of questioning what the actual human response would be. To when you isolate a group of people, how is one group? attacking another what what is the the humanness of the response in it and that's kind of what we're examining Mm -hmm. yeah so can you see a reflection of yourself in these characters at all yeah for sure i mean liz is definitely way smarter than i am but i i I feel (laughs) biomedical engineer over here my parents (laughs) um no they love this (laughs) um she's just she's I, there's a lot about her I, I want more of in my life, and it's fun to inhabit her for that reason because it sort of encourages you. But I also I realize sometimes the ways in which she wears off on me where I do. I, I think I've gotten my shoulder behind asking questions. This is my first time being the number one on a television series, and it's a very intimidating position to be stepping into. I have a wonderful partner, which is really lovely, um, really lovely. But I think I've sort of it's helped me kind of assert my ideas a little more. She's such a brave woman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and for me, I mean, I definitely see a lot of myself in Max. Um, mm-hmm. The loyalty, yeah. the commitment to family, this the small town, you know, talk a little slower, walk a little slower. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>